important for you to go beyond this mentality and thinking that all God requires of you and I is tithes and offering or money. So when I give money to my church, I've done what is required of me. I can live anyhow, any way, do anything I please, and that is it. No, 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 you are wrong. You are wrong. God is interested in you as a person and your life and your body than your money because a man's life does not consist by the abundance of things that he possesses. Your life is important and precious and valuable before God than your money. So stop having this mentality that as long as I pay my tithe and I give an offering, I've done what is expected of me, I can do, do anything I want to, live anyhow. No, 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 no. At the end of the day, you have to remember that we will give an account and there will come a day of accountability where we have to give an account of our stewardship and all of us are stewards. We are all stewards. And please stop thinking that, oh, when it comes to advancing the kingdom, it's for the archbishops and the bishops and the pastors and the apostles and the elders and the dignitaries and those in full-time ministry. No, it's not true. We are all members of his body. And to all of us, he's been given the ministry of reconciliation to reconcile men and women to God. So, you must understand this. Stop being fool and deceived and thinking that, oh, when I give my tithes and my offering, then the pastors, the bishops, the men of God will use that to play the role I have to play or to do the ministry. For. No, 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 no. I don't advance the kingdom by your tithes and offerings only. You also, apart from your tithes and offerings, and I also tithe and I give offerings. So apart from my tithes and my offering. There are so many things that are required of me, of the Lord, to advance his kingdom. And it's the same that is required of you. So it's not just your time and your money. It's also your time. Your time. Look at the amount of time you make available to advance his kingdom and the amount of time you spend on yourself. If you, if you wait, you realize that you are selfish. And there's a possibility that you are becoming an unprofitable servant. That you are holding back the advancement of the kingdom. If you look at what you spend on yourself and your immediate family, at the end of the year, you realize that you really don't care about his kingdom. Now, come with me to Luke chapter 11, reading from the first verse. I want to show you some few things quickly. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, mm -hmm. when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, when you pray, get it, see. He said, when this is the protocol and the pattern to approach your heavenly father, when you pray, say, Go ahead. Our Father, which recognize that we have a Father who lives in heaven. Two, hallowed be thy name. Glorify him. Honor him. When you recognize who your dad and your father is, honor him. Thy kingdom come. And then, after you've recognized and honored him, the first thing on the agenda, before anything, is recognize the importance of his kingdom or his rulership or his domain coming among men coming to earth superimposing his kingdom over the kingdoms of men over nations families communities cities his kingdom his kingdom must come his kingdom must override every other kingdom. His kingdom must be advanced. His kingdom must be populated. That is God's number one agenda. And Jesus taught us to pray in this manner. And he said, hey, 
the number one priority of the father is that his kingdom will be populated and will override every other kingdom his kingdom what have you done to advance his kingdom and what are you doing since you were born again to advance his kingdom and i'll be honest with you i was telling bishop but i said bishop you know something let's face it i think we can never blame the people for their attitude i think i have you and i eh, we must take we must take i'm taking this for you to take some and i said bishop the way people think and the way christians are wired we have a lot of responsibility to take off i said i have to take a lot of responsibility for this because it has to do with the kinds of diets you've had you've been taught program wired to think about your personal breakthrough your well-being your immediate family and it's all been me 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 and i said bishop we have to change our teachings so, and our preaching because god will not take these things kindly we have been taught these people to understand that being born again is more than attending church and giving tithes and offering is more than that that heaven requires of you and i to advance god's kingdom that his kingdom will be in every community in every family in every tongue tribe nation across the universe that wherever you go on this earth you will see a citizen of the kingdom there and the kingdom of god advancing it's like members of a political party they are very passionate about their political party very passionate and will do anything for their political party to win are you passionate about his kingdom what extent are you willing to go to advance this kingdom Are you living for the kingdom?